Hey everybody, welcome to the Bronze Award. I'm glad you're here. Give me one second. Much better, let's get started. Hi, my name is Gracie Goodpasture and I'm from the Girl Scouts of the Commonwealth of Virginia and I am a Bronze, Silver, Gold, and National Gold Award Girl Scout. Welcome Girl Scouts from around the country and the world. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about getting started on your Bronze Award and set you up to earn the Silver and Gold down the road. The Bronze Award is the highest honor a junior Girl Scout can achieve. It is designed to increase leadership skills, discover new passions, and watch your actions make a difference in your community. The first step in a Bronze Award is completing a Girl Scout journey. Most girls spend about three to four months on a journey, but you should take all the time you need. Then after your journey is completed, it is suggested you take a minimum of 20 hours to build your team, explore the community, choose and plan your project, and set it into motion. This means you are the creators here. There is no set amount of space or time your project needs to be. It is all about how you envision making a difference. To build your team, gather other junior Girl Scouts, friends your age, your troop leader or volunteer, and anyone you think could be helpful for your project. The key is to learn about each other throughout this project in order to best serve your community and accomplish your goal. My troop decided to all work together for our Bronze Award and have one big project together. Once you have a good group of people gathered, get started exploring your community. How can you best serve the people and places in it? What would be a positive change you could see implementing? This could be anything from helping to restore flood damage and learn how to better prepare, or make your meeting spot more fun for younger girls to come visit you. This chart can be found on page 4 of the Bronze Award Manual on the Girl Scout website. Here you can keep track of different observations where changes could be made in your community, endless possible project idea, pros and cons to help you better come up with something manageable and fun for everyone. We knew we wanted to involve others and have something many people could benefit from watching, and from there we talked about what we did not see a lot of in school. None of us had really ever talked about influential women in school other than historical people, and we thought it would be fun to start locally. That is how we developed the idea of doing a panel, and we expanded our scope from locally influential women to nationally influential women. Once you have narrowed down a list of potential projects, it's time to choose. Meet with your team and think about which will be most impactful, and use your Girl Scout creative thinking skills to brainstorm ways to begin your project. My troop decided to hold a panel session where we invited many women, both locally and nationwide, to come speak, and we asked them many questions throughout the night in front of an audience of anyone in the community that wanted to attend. The purpose of the women's panel was to be surrounded by empowering women who have made a difference in their community and the world. We asked them questions like what motivates you, what do you love most about your job, and what would your advice be to younger girls? Overall, the panel was a huge success that everyone enjoyed. We learned so much from these women, and our main takeaway was that even at such a young age, we can make a difference, especially when we work together towards a common goal. The audience was also a lot of girls our age, and they were very motivated to see these successful women they looked up to speak about the things that were so close and achievable to us. Now it is time to make a plan. How will you get people involved? What steps need to be taken? How much time do you need, and is this project realistic? Who will you involve? My troop leader, who's also my mom, always told us to think big, so we decided to invite many influential women in our, both our local communities and the country, including former First Lady Michelle Obama and Taylor Swift. And finally, put your plan into motion and spread the word. Congratulations, you have created a project with your friends and team that has successfully had a positive impact on your community. My troop handed out flyers to the local elementary, middle, and high schools, as well as the community centers where we live, to get our word out. Now it's time to look back on all your success. What did you enjoy about the project? What was challenging or what did you struggle with? What might you do differently next? And what would you like to learn more about? Thank you all so much for watching, and I wish you the best of luck on all your projects. I know they'll be wonderful.